the movies. <laughs> Hello, I'm Natalie. And today's video is going to be on a summer DIY decor video, Tumblr inspired. Yeah, I decided to do this because my room has been lacking inspiration. It's summer, it's a nice time of the year. And I thought, hey, I need some decorations to just burst up my room. I did a lot of these DIYs that are super easy, they're very affordable, and they really do make your room just I don't know, you just want to stay more time in your room. But today's video, I hope it inspires you to go out and decorate your room, use what you have, and just create art. If you do enjoy DIY videos, give this video a thumbs up so that way I know to do more. And I personally really like DIY videos. I like being able to take affordable things and make them into amazing things. I try to jump into it, but that didn't work. Oh, ow. <laughs> I forgot lipstick. Let's just roll into it. Take me higher, higher than love ever so for this really cute pom-pom garland, all you're gonna need is some really colorful yarn, and then you're just gonna wrap the yarn around four fingers, and then you're gonna tie it really securely, really tight to make sure it doesn't come off. And then all you're gonna do is just shake the pom-pom. And this is just a great way to just add a little bit of spice to your room. They're super colorful, they're affordable. And me and my sister are watching White Chicks, and we literally got carried away and made like 30 of these both for her room and for my room it's just such a fun project to make. ah the famous tumbler garland but this one's with the twist we're gonna be putting this onto a nice frame so just take your favorite tumbler pictures that will inspire you of summer and just the good life and also some nice little pins I use some ribbon from this bag that I got off Victoria's Secret so what you're gonna do is just essentially just arrange your pictures the way you want it you're gonna flip over the frame and then you're just gonna cut your ribbon and just start applying it on so I actually just use tape I use two to just secure it in place and that's basically it. I love this because it's such a nice addition to your room, to your desk area, to anything. It's going to definitely be very inspirational. I don't like it. No, I love it. Next idea is super easy, too easy to believe, but it's going to add a lot of flavor to your room. All you're going to do is just add an assortment of beautiful flowers, and then I got these really cute strings from Pottery Barn, and then I just put them around, and it just adds such a nice touch and bling and beauty to your room. This next idea is super easy, yet crafty, and all you're going to do is just get a really nice glass jar, and oops, I spilled major fail there and add some sand into the jar, add a candle, add some shells and you can also do this with just plain old water. It's going to add a really nice touch, a very sea-like touch to your room. It's perfect for your vanity, for your desk. For this DIY, you don't have to be Picasso to be able to do this. You're going to start off with white paint and gradually build up the color so you can just mix it in with a little bit of white and then the blue. This is going to create a really nice gradient effect. I'm also getting the sides on there. And then I'm taking some tissue roll that is just, I don't know, the end of it and just using that to apply really nice shapes. I changed up the color. And then for the next one, I'm using a sponge, putting it into color. And basically, you can just see for yourself, it's pretty easy easy. You don't need to be an artist to do this one. And then I just drew on the green and then a little bit of the little seeds. And it's super easy. It makes you feel more artsy than you really are. And it gives a really nice touch to your room. That's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that I know because for every thumb that you give, another one is donated to someone in need. I'm not kidding. Don't forget to stay connected with me on the social media sites. I thank you for always reaching out to me. I love it. It makes my day. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye. Please excuse that pimple. It only happens to me. I'm curious to know which is the weirdest place that you've ever gotten a pimple.